hello everybody and welcome back to the Mercury One build. As you can see now, it's a much more complete condition than before. I have the front idler towers on, the actual gantry slides back and forth and it's all assembled, and I have the motor mounts on the back. I have yet to put on the Eva carriage and that's because I found something really cool that I wanted to show. So this here is the Eva 2.4 toolhead configurator uh, available on the Zero-G Docs website. And you can see there's fields for your hot end, your extruder, if you're using a probe and the type of backplate, uh, you change that and whether or not you're using cable chains, I'm not. Uh, and this is a huge step forwards because when I built my first Mercury one, you had to get the Eva files from like a random Google Drive, then download the rest of the Eva files from the official Eva site and then sort of mash it all together. Uh, which was really, it was really hard to find, really inconvenient, you had to sort of know what you were doing more, but now it's really great that there's just an online tool, you just hit download right there, get files, and then you'll just get all the files you need. So that's really, really easy, and I really like that. Uh, something else I really like, and I wanted to mention, these here are the stock motor mounts, so they just hold the motors the exactly stock from uh, Zero-G. Uh, a member on the Discord called Rock Salt designed some custom ones that I think are better. I would have printed them had I not have already printed these ones first. Uh, the deal is these guys are only mounted from two points, just these two screws right here. His are mounted on three points, and the bigger difference is that his don't extend past the back of the printer like that. So if you can see, it extends almost like a whole inch, like two centimeters off the back of the printer. And that makes enclosing this machine really difficult because you have to build this sort of top hat contraption that goes over everything and it's just really annoying. His design solves all that by just bringing the mount forwards essentially. Uh, and it's also stronger with the three screws. So I would highly, highly recommend it. Uh, currently it's only on Thingiverse as just a file, but I've been trying to get him to actually upload it as a legitimate user mod for the Mercury One. Hopefully that works. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, bring your attention to that because those are objectively better and you should be using those instead of the stock ones. So something I also wanted to talk about was electronics because I didn't mention that at all in the previous video. So I'm going to be keeping this stock Z-axis assembly with just the one lead screw. So I don't need a fancy board with like eight stepper drivers like, you know, on the Voron or any other uh, tri-level bed. So as a result, I'm going to keep the stock case with just an upgraded SKR main. I'll probably use either a V2 or a V3, just depending on what I can get my hands on. And that's going to be mounted towards the back of the printer right here. Probably low on the back just to keep the printer, you know, nice and heavy and weighted to the ground. That way I don't need to extend any wires, whereas I would if I was going to keep the case right here along the front. And also I don't need to actually print a custom case. I can just slot in the new mainboard, drop in replacement. There's tons of mounts already available for the Raspberry Pi from people using, uh, using Octoprint and stuff like that. So that should be really easy and just the simplest solution. You do need to print brackets that will go on the very back here to actually mount it. And I'm printing those right now along with some camera parts on the Voron. Uh, so that should go well. Very, very easy. You print five of those brackets, I think, and you just screw it on. Same exact deal as here. Very, very easy and it keeps things simple and you know reduces part count, all that good stuff. So yeah, um, hopefully in the next part I'll have everything fully together with tool head belts and then I can focus on just firmware, but I wanted to give this sort of interim update to show off the configurator, rock salts mods, and also talk a little bit more about my plans for electronics. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.